As far as some of the goals uh, that uh, Warrior Rising has, which I had already uh, had implanted in my head, you know, for me, because my passion in technology, it's not just about the money. When you're doing something good for people, you help people, the money will come. Money is just a, kind of a measuring a scorecard for your success. So that part is not an, important to me. It's the actual execution of what you're doing, the passion, the grit that you have. Nothing is going to stop you doing whatever it takes to succeed. And I think that's some of the characteristics Warrior Rising is looking for. In 1984, uh, I was a fuel specialist in the U.S. Air Force stationed on Kadena Air Force Base, Okinawa, Japan. Um, our commanding officer saw that I had computer skills. My background is in technology. I have a passion for electronics and software engineering. I started working part-time subcontracting for repair on electronic music equipment, and that's how my career outside of the military got started, which gave me a little bit of a taste of entrepreneurship for the first time. And I was like in my early 20s, you know, so I just hadn't finished my college degree yet. I was considering going back to school. This kind of inspired me, hey, there's an opportunity to be an entrepreneur as opposed to going the typical career path. My wife is a hairdresser uh, specializing in color, personally trained by Vidal Sassoon when she was getting started in her career. And she asked me to help automate her salon because she had other stylists and other spa professionals leasing space in her salon. And she wanted to find a way to protect them and also not have to keep running back and forth to the salon or asking me to run back and forth to the salon to make sure the lights were off, the doors were locked, and the building was secure. So that was how the dream of CyberTech got started. So what we do at CyberTech, we are a smart technology, deep technology company. An internet of things technology, live video streaming, analytics, intelligent video surveillance. So we cover use cases all the way as far as smart city technology, even into DOD for the warfighter moving into communities for HOAs and gated communities with the technology solutions that we offer. At CyberTech, we do that and more. With our specialized hardware and our single app, control an ecosystem of smart technology devices without the need for the cloud. We need to count on emergency services and the smart city technology that's starting to evolve and people are starting to understand how it can be used can be beneficial with our platform. And it's all secure. It's all on premise without using the cloud. The cloud has its own set of problems for smart home technology, smart building technology. And that's where we come in to eliminate that problem. A lot of big tech, they use the cloud to collect data to affect their top line. It's not so much about the smart home value that they provide to consumers. That's the piece that's missing from big tech that we come in and fill that gap with. It was earlier in probably 2022, maybe late 2021, uh, where I was looking to see opportunities for government grant opportunities into technology research and innovation. And part of that led me down to some veteran-based uh, entrepreneur accelerators. And that's when I stumbled across Warrior Rising. As part of that process, uh, I went through their cohort and through a separate veterans group, I was invited to pitch at Veterans Business Battle hosted at Rice University in Houston, Texas. And that's when I got to personally meet uh, Jason Van Camp, you know, the executive director of Warrior Rising in person. And he invited me to attend more of their coaching sessions um, and actually uh, potentially even become a mentor on their platform. Um, and it was through those encounters with uh, Jason and also the other uh, members of Warrior Rising that he invited me to become a mentor and a coach on their platform and also have the honor to be invited to this business shower in San Antonio. They have people that have been in your position where you are in your journey as an entrepreneur. You can count on them time and time again to come through to help give you the, as an entrepreneur, as a veteranpreneur, the reassurance that you need if you need some motivation, some encouragement.